today I'm gonna play with Extreme Peel Off Lip Colors by the brand Wonder Skin. This has some really bold claims. So this is a hyper staining. It's a two-step system that creates smooth, ultra pigmented color that doesn't budge, fade, or feather into fine lines. Also, it's waterproof, transfer proof, and it's non-drying formula that lasts up to 10 hours of wear. I picked up four shades and each shade retails for $32.50. And they do have two different formulas. One is they're called the fresh tint, which is like a wash of color. And then the other ones, it's full on really opaque, intense color payoff, which I'm really excited about. So for the full lip color, I picked up two shades, Darling and Romance. And then for the fresh tints, I picked up XOXO and then first kiss. I think the names are actually really sweet. Today, I wanna to test out the more full opaque color, and then tomorrow, I wanna to test out the fresh tints, but I do wanna swatch these formulas for you. There we go. Here are the true swatches. XOXO, first kiss, Romance, and then this one is Darling. Let's go in with Darling. It looks like a beautiful plum color online, and I wanna do more of like a bold lip and really see how this is going to work. Let's clean the lips. I do have a little bit of lip balm on. I'm just gonna gently pat whatever is on here. And like they did say, it has to be, has to be clean or, and, or exfoliated lips. <laughs> Honey, do you think we should leave it on for 45 seconds? Yeah? Andrea's like, yes, you definitely have to do it. Okay, so this is what we look like. This is the lip mask. That's what they call the lip color. Interesting. It does have a scent. It's not bad. It definitely smells artificial. Wait, hold up. That smells, smells like a, a cereal. It kind of smells like the marshmallow puffs from Lucky Charms, but then also smells kind of floral. Okay, so it does say spread two to three layers until the lips and skin is no longer visible. Wow. If this is starting to scare you, they're saying the bluish purple mask is not the final shade. <laughs> I can see why they recommend two to three layers. I can definitely feel it drying already. Let's do a second coat. Okay, still patchy. Go with the third coat. Okay, hurry, hurry seconds. Oh, I did minutes. Oh, let's not do minutes. <laughs> 45 seconds. Good. It doesn't feel too dry. You can still see it's kind of wet. So the next step is spray the Wonder Blading Licked lick Activator on lips. Do one to three mists until lips are slightly damp. You may experience a mild tingling sensation on lips and a slightly sweet taste. Hmm, okay. That sounds fun. Oh, it is sweet. Wait a few seconds, then starting at either corner of your mouth, grip the mask and peel it off to reveal the color underneath. Wow. Ooh, it's not peeling off as nice as I would want it to, but it's doing a good job. Okay, never mind. It's actually peeling off quite nice. <laughs> Look at that color underneath. That's like, like strawberry, raspberry. Kind of looks like beets. And I'm saying also you can use the towel. I'm getting it's a little bit stubborn right here in the center. I'm just gonna use a towel. It doesn't doesn't say you have to wet it or anything. It just says use the Wonder Blading cloth to buff out. Buff off any remaining bits of the mask. Looks like the color is there. Wow. Ah. Looks like a little bit blood right here. Okay, just looking at this, it's not very even, especially around the corners of my lips. It looks very messy. <laughs> Looks like I was eating something and the lipstick kind of got all over the place. I'm sure you can clean it up, but this activator definitely 
made it bleed a little bit. So I'm wondering if that's kind of just like a little bit goes a long way. And you can see that I'm touching with my hands, my fingers, and I'm rubbing and it is transferring to my fingers. Let me just quickly kiss my hand. There's nothing on the back of it. I'm giving it some force and you can definitely see some color coming off, but minimal. You can see it's quite uneven right in the center. It looks kind of bad. <laughs> they do say that you can repeat these steps until you get your full desired color, but I'm just gonna leave it with this one, with one coat or one layer with the initial first layer, or I did three total, but you know what I mean, with just this one application. And I think I really wanna see how long this is going to last. I am gonna clean up a little bit around the edges, just using my foundation brush that I used today. Actually, no, my concealer brush with whatever is left on there. Cleaning it up is actually quite easy. And I wonder if it's gonna stain my fingers. You can see a little bit of that pink when I started taking it off. But that activator is actually quite sweet. <laughs> yeah, the more I touch it, the more it's kind of coming off. So what they're saying is here, for extra sheen, apply a lip balm or gloss on top of the color after the application process is complete. Wonder blading will not fade or run when other lip products are layered over it. Okay, I like that. That's really nice. Let me grab, or should I should I apply anything? I kind of want to see on its own if it's comfortable. And then if it gets drying, I'll apply like a clear lip balm on top or a lip gloss to see. But right now I'm really curious to see how it's going to wear on its own. But you can definitely see with just the first application where it wasn't even right here in the center. You can see some spots where it's just kind of clinging on to certain areas of my lips. But honestly, I'm kind of happy with how it's looking. It looks very kind of effortless in a way. I mean, I tell you, they, they do score a lot of points for fun. Yes, it's this is the most fun lip peel off product I've tested so far. And it's the most expensive, but definitely the most amount of results instant results and I think that blue, this purple bluish hue that you first apply, I think that's really fun. It's actually a really yeah. cool lip color. But then seeing it the way it starts like peeling off right away as soon as you spray on the activator, this gets a lot of points with me. I think this, even the color is really beautiful. And I think this is one of their more intense plummy shades that they have. They have a lot of more neutral and really beautiful soft pink shades, which I think is up most people's alleys. One thing I do want to mention, my lips, they don't feel dry. And I, when I kind of move my lips together, I'm not feeling those dry spots, but it is accentuating like every wrinkle, every dry spot on my lip, top and bottom. So especially with this darker color, I think that's why they recommend doing as many applications, but yeah, it's definitely exaggerating every little texture, every single wrinkle on my lip with just this first application. But I really wanna see how just one application with three layers wears, if it's comfortable, how does it look, things like that. But as of right now, my lips feel very comfortable. They don't feel tight. They don't feel dry. And I feel like I don't have anything on my lips. So that's really good. And some time has passed and I feel like it's less and less transfer that's happening. So that's really good. Okay, we'll go on with our day and I'll see you guys in a little bit and see how well the lips are doing. Honestly, the lip color, it looks like after several hours of wear, it looks like I had a really good lip color on and then it just started to fade. I ate, I drank, and it was fading. But that's just how it is from the get-go and I feel like it's looking the same and it's not really fading or budging, smudging, whatever else it's doing. It's still quite comfortable. I feel a little bit of a dry right here. I feel like I can like peel it off, but otherwise I feel like there's nothing on and I can still taste it. Like I can taste on the outer portions of the lips, that sweetness, which is really intriguing. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I really don't wanna wear this tomorrow. <laughs> I know I said I was and I will, but as of right now, I really am not impressed. And I'm actually quite disappointed with 
the longevity and quality of this lip product. I followed the directions on the back of this and I also went on their website and saw their step-by-step. -step. So the one thing they're saying is like you can apply multiple applications to get the best color payoff. We kept it on for 45 seconds to get the most color with the first application with the three layers until all of the skin and my lips or just my lips, the skin of my lips or just my lips were completely covered with the mask. That's what they say to do. But yeah, I don't know. I'm just kind of like, I don't know what I did wrong. I think it's honestly just the lip color. It just didn't perform well. It's not very long lasting. I think the only thing that's kind of stained is my Cupid's bow. A little bit right here on the sides and a little bit right here. And then those areas where my skin is dry. So I'm not sure, honestly. I think if anything, I might spray the activator like once tomorrow. Just not spray it three times and not oversaturate. So they're saying here, Less is more with the lip activator. So who knows? We'll see. All right, you guys, I'll see you tomorrow morning. I'm back the next day. And today, like I said, from last night, I'm gonna try to make the application nice and consistent. I'm gonna try to make it really opaque. And hopefully we get a really nice wear time the second time around that I, now that I've kind of played with it the first time. I'm not gonna spray the activator three times. I'm gonna spray it once, maybe twice. We'll see how even of a spritz I get on the lips. But I am gonna do the full 45 seconds again with two to three coats. We'll see how even I apply it. I already exfoliated my lips and then I had no, the lip balm on the entire morning. So I wanted to really make sure my lips are nice and soft and prepped for this application. I'm just blotting my lips dry. And today I really wanna go with first kiss. I think the shade is beautiful. I think it's like a good in between. This one looks much better. I think I did a better application this time. Is it easier with that thing? Can I feel it? It just gets really dirty. See that? Okay, what I did the second time around was I tried to apply the layers a lot quicker and a little bit more even. And I started on the bottom lip in the center and kind of started spreading that around. But you can definitely see where my lips are dry. Even though I exfoliated, you can see where that pigment is sitting. Right there. You see that? So now we're gonna do a second time, a second application, like they did say you can go in. You basically wanna take a clean cloth or a napkin and make sure none of the activator is on your lips. The one thing is, see right there? It makes the lip bleed, the color bleed down the lip once the activator's on, even though I did only one spritz. Let's go in a second time. All right, I'm gonna be honest, with the two applications on, I can definitely feel the color on my lips. And I feel, feel like this color, it's really kind of pulling my lips tighter in a way. I don't know how to even explain it. It looks really nice and it does feel somewhat comfortable, but, but I feel like I'm gonna definitely use the lip balm today. This is just Laura Mercier lip balm. It doesn't have any color to it, it's nice, nice and clear. So I really wanna see if the application is a lot better with a clear lip balm on top, but it definitely looks better with two applications and I think it looks stunning. But let's apply some lip balm and let's see how comfortable the formula is throughout the day. And I think I am going to reapply this every so often. And there's no transferring of the lip product on to the lip balm, which is really good. I do wanna kiss my hand. Oh, what you're seeing right now is the lip balm but I'm not seeing any color transfer, which is really good. And it's very comfortable with the lip balm now. All right, you guys, I'll see you in my update and we'll see how well this is wearing. Hopefully it's a lot better. I think it definitely looks a lot better with the lip, ba lip balm on. It looks a little bit more even, at least the color does. Okay, I think we honestly look similar to last night, even though 
I did two applications instead of one. What I had for dinner was tacos and some potato salad. So that's what I'm trying to understand, like if it was the barbecue, like the acidity that maybe took off some of that lipstick. So it's definitely not super long wearing. It will come off like you can see it is. I think it's beautiful if you're very, if you're eating very minimal and drinking very minimal because otherwise it starts to wear off in those areas. So yeah, I don't know. Like it's, I like the idea of it. I think it's a really fun product, especially seeing this right here, this purple blue tint at first and it looks so cool. And then the way it peels off, it gets very messy, but yeah, I don't know. For $32, $33 pretty much, I, I expected a lot more wear time. That's what I'm kind of thinking to myself, who would this be good for? I think this is good for maybe like a date night. So just keeping all of this in mind, there's already products similar to this at the drugstore, like a two-step product, but they're not a stain. They're more of a full-on lip color, like the CoverGirl. Yeah, I don't, Oh, it's just, it's so expensive and it didn't perform as long as I would as I would want it to, even testing out like twice. I'm gonna leave it there. Please let me know if you do wear this, the Wonder Skin, their Wonder Blading Lip Color. How do you get the best optimum results to last you at least 10 hours without this type of a result? I hope you guys enjoyed this video, spending time with me, and I'll see the next one very soon.